So what's really going on with the Southern California housing market? As an individual who owns a large mortgage bank and sees hundreds of applications a month come through, I really have a pulse on exactly what's going in the market. And this was echoed no greater than my feelings in the California Association of Realtors most recent report released this month, where it went over what home prices have done over the last year, what we've seen on inventory levels. So let's dive into it on the three major markets that I wanna focus on, which is the San Diego market, the Orange County market, and the Riverside and San Bernardino market. Now, first off, we have seen inventory levels plummet, meaning the amount of houses listed for sale in each one of these markets are down significantly. Almost across the board, we've seen inventory levels down more than 50% from where we were two years ago and about 30% lower than where we were just one year ago. And guess what? There's more home buyers shopping for homes today than there were two years ago. So with half the inventory and more buyers, we got a significant problem on our hands. In all three of these market, we have inventory levels of only about a one and a half month supply. What that means is the total active listings homes for sale between multifamily, condo, single family home, we will gobble up all of the inventory in just a one and a half month period of time. Those are the lowest levels we've ever seen since this metric has been measured. This as a healthy market should be around six months. So that means we need 75% more inventory, or basically we need, for every house that's for sale right now, we need three more of them just to be a balanced market. And how do we get more homes? Well, in most markets, you can build your way out of it by new construction homes. Because guess what? If somebody's getting rid of their house in LA and moving to a house in Orange County, they're not really giving anything. They're giving an inventory item, their house they're selling, and they're taking an inventory item, the house they're buying, bringing a net result of neutral. How do we get new inventory to the market? We gotta build it, right? Well, guess what? Orange County, San Diego County, and Riverside County have the lowest levels of new construction homes of any major metro area in the country. Why? Because extremely strict building guidelines, California is not a builder friendly area, and home builders simply can't afford to buy the land, pay the labor, and actually deal with the long timetable it takes to build homes here in California. They've elected to build homes all throughout the Southeast, as well as the Southwest, which are much more builder friendly. So. Here in Riverside County, for an example, we're gonna get only about 6,000 new construction units in the entire Riverside San Bernardino County market. That's only 6,000 units total. Last year alone, we had 19,000 new households formed in Riverside County alone. So what does that mean? Guess what? 6,000 new construction homes, 19,000 new households formed. Well, guess what? You got three new households for every one new construction home let alone all of the other individuals who want to purchase or already shopping from previous years or this year alone. So what are we in for with mortgage interest rates? Well, mortgage interest rates today have seen a significant increase just over the last two months. We started out the year at a 30 year fixed of only about 3.3%. As of March 22nd of 2022, a 30 year fixed interest rate is around 4.7%. That's almost a one and a half percent increase in interest rate in just a little over two months. The largest from somebody like myself who's been in the industry 18 years that I can ever remember. This type of increase, even a 1% increase in mortgage interest rates, will usually affect somebody's buying power by 10%. So what effect will this have? Well, we need to know more importantly, what and how much somebody is trying to stretch their budget to buy these homes. So I did a survey called a bunch of the top listing agents in the area who I'm dear friends with. And I asked them, on average, about how many individuals are coming to your open houses? On average, most houses in the Riverside County area that are kind of that sweet spot of home between $600,000 and $900,000, they're getting on average anywhere between about 30 and 40 families coming through in a two-day weekend. And less than 10% of those families live in Riverside County. They're almost all from LA County, Orange County, or San Diego County. Very similar is true in the San Diego County market. You're seeing significant double digit offers on every single home with the average home price going nearly 10% over its asking price. And I can tell you from somebody that runs a mortgage bank, budget that these people are actually submitting to buy these homes, we're not seeing extremely stretched debt ratios. What that means is 
the average person I'm seeing is having a debt ratio of about 30 to 35 percent. This is well below the 45 to 50 percent threshold. So what this basically means is people still have room in their budget. Last year as a nation, we saw about a 6% increase in wages. So even though that didn't match the 20% increase we saw in house values, it's very important to understand you're not using all your income for your house payment. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Somebody that has makes $10,000 a month, and they get a 6% raise. What does that in turn into? That's a $600 a month increase in their income. The average mortgage payment is $2,500 a month and that raises itself 20% because of the rise in rates. 20% of a $2,500 payment is only $500 a month. So they got a $600 a month raise by only getting a 6% increase. Mortgage payment went up 20%. Guess what? They're making $600 more, their monthly payment only went up $500 a month. This is a very important metric that so many people forget, that your house payment can go up as a higher percentage than your income because you don't use all of your income to pay your mortgage payment. So what we've seen across California is extremely low inventory levels. We've seen house prices in all three of these markets go up year over year, anywhere between 18 and 26% in one year, almost 40% over the last two years. So even if mortgage interest rates knock out half of the buyers here in these markets, there's still a lot more buyers than houses. So nobody knows the answer on where that mortgage interest rate will be before it eliminates those buyers. But what I can tell you, is you're still seeing double digit offers, people putting down good amount of money, staying under budget and swallowing that extra mortgage payment because they understand in an inflationary environment, it's important to be in real assets because keeping that money in the bank, you're losing it. Just like we heard Joe Biden say, inflation is a serious problem. And it's not gonna be something that gets fixed soon. So by putting your money in real assets like real estate, it's the best bet in today's market. So hope this gave you some good value on what's going on in Southern California's market. More updates like this to come. So make sure you tag a friend below if it's in the real estate industry or somebody that's looking for home so they can get the true lowdown on what's actually going on in our housing market here in Southern California.